man, oh man. That's a load of flavor. All right, Blues Hog Nation, it's Tim, and I'm back. Today we're making the Blues Hog Cowboy Burger. Now this is all in preparation for the Burger Fest brought to you by High Point Drive-In and Four Hands Brewing. So what we're doing for this, um, this project is a Wagyu and Mangalitsa pork burger mix. It's gonna be a 50-50 blend. So we've got two pounds of ground beef, and now we've got our Mangalitsa pork, and I just had burgers left, I didn't have any ground. Same thing. All right, so we've got our burger kind of worked together, our two types of burger. I'm gonna take a little bit of Smoky Mountain sauce, because we're trying to go for that smoky barbecue flavor. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of that, and we're gonna go ahead and come in with our rodeo rub, which is gonna be a coarse ground blend of spices. Now we've got everything blended together. I'm gonna go ahead and make my burgers. I'm going for a good sized burger on these. Cowboy needs a big old burger, probably a good half pound. All right, we've got them all patted up. Next thing I wanna do is go ahead and come back in with a little bit more of the rodeo rub, get some of that nice texture on the outside and that seasoning. And also for these guys, I'm gonna use a little original dry rub. Now again, this is a barbecue burger. They're ready to go on the drum. We're gonna run these on the Gateway Drum Smoker. We're gonna run about 250 today on these. Uh, we've got a heat deflector in there. Uh, we're gonna run them kind of indirect and get that slow smoky flavor on these burgers. All right guys, so you can see I've got my heat diffuser on the middle rack actually today. I don't normally do that. But I did today because I want to put that water, or not, it's not even a water pan, I want to put a pan in there. So we catch the drippings from these burgers because these are going to be somewhat fatty and we don't want all that drippings to go into the fire. Alright guys, I'm going to throw a little bit of hickory wood in here just to get a little extra smoke flavor going on these guys. Let these guys run about 250 on the dial. Just happens to be right where we're at. All right, we've got our burgers on, and now I'm gonna get my bacon prepped. Of course, I'm using Blue's Hog to sizzle bacon. For those of you guys that don't know about this bacon, we make this using our pork marinade, our sweet and savory rub, and also our bold and beefy rub. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little spice down, start laying it out, a little rodeo on there. I'm also gonna use some of that dry rub. We're gonna go ahead and get this on the pit and let this slow cook. Kind of get that caramelization going, let the, let the fat caramelize and the seasoning set up, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish glazing it with a raspberry chipotle right away. We've got our bacon on, let that roll. All right guys, it's been about 45 minutes. I'm gonna check these burgers. They have a nice look. I'm gonna take them off, leave them just a bit under right now, because we're gonna come back and sear and sauce them right away. You can see we got our bacon going as well. It's basically done. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little razz on top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and glaze these burgers up a little and just let them sit there in that Smoky Mountain sauce while we wait. All right, let's get some cheese on these cowboys. I'm gonna take our patty. Go ahead and get them in there. Got a little sizz on that. And it's time to get crazy. I'm skirting. All right guys, we're back inside. We got the burger smoked. We got the cheese skirt built. We've got them seared off. Buns are toasted. It's time to build our burger. First thing I do is take my toasted bun. I'm gonna hit them with our new chicken fried burger sauce. It's a good base layer on the bottom. We're gonna take some butter lettuce today. Get a couple pieces of that. Burgers up. Check out that cheese skirt. That's what I'm talking about. That is a beautiful cheese skirt. Slide them on. Now, come back with our candied bacon. Next up, we hit them with the fried jalapenos. These are fresh jalapenos that we beer battered and fried. Of course, we use our citywide light lager for those. And if that wasn't enough, we're gonna come back with some of these crunchy deep fried onion straws. Come back through with a little bit of that chick fry and burger. And why not a little splash of Raz? Sweeten that dude up a little bit. All right guys, that's it. The Blues Hog Cowboy Burger, it sure looks the part. I brought in the keyboard cowboy himself, Brother D, to give it a taste test. If you remember a few weeks back, we had the Burger Challenge smoked versus smashed. And I had to go for a redemption here on the smoke because smashed one hands down. 
Let's see what we've got here today. I'm gonna give that smash burger a run. You think it gives it a run? It gives it a run. I'm about to try again. Try again. Picking up that rodeo crunch. It's got a little black pepper in the back if you find it through there. What do you, what do you think? Smoked or smashed at this point? Yes? I think smashed. Oh, sorry. You but had it once before. You, you think it's a toss up at this point? It's we're back in the game? I think we're back in the game. There you go, we're back in the game. The debate goes on, smoked or smashed lives to see another day. Was this made on a real smoker? That might have been part of it. That's it. Wow, man. That's a load of flavor. You can try this exact burger at the Burger Fest brought to you by High Point and Four Hands Brewing.